First of all, I'd like to thank all the volunteers and the minibus drivers for, their, for all the work for the year. Without them, this centre would not survive. The amount of money that is saved by volunteers in the house and in the gardens, in the gym, the minibus drivers alone, five days a week up and down to Galway, is some commitment by those volunteers and they deserve great, great thanks from the centre and we definitely would not survive without them. We have over 200 people a week coming into the centre. Um, so obviously we have to pay uh, for some staff, but 80%, 90% is uh, voluntary. And uh, without the volunteers, this place would not succeed. We've had a great year raising money for the centre here. Unfortunately, not a great year for funding from the different people that we apply to. But hopefully things will improve next year. Everybody who comes up here praises the place. Everybody we've met praises the place and what we do up here. We take patients to Galway five days a week for their treatment down in uh, Galway Hospital. And uh, we fund all that ourselves. We were managed to raise the money to do the whole extension and pay for it all without having to borrow any money. But it would be great to get some funding. We were um, very lucky this year that Capitagal GA partnered with us and some of us did an upset in Crow Park. Um, terrifying but good to have done it, so that was um, a good help. Um, we also had have opened our new extension this year of two more treatment rooms and an office and that was fundraised by uh, Peter Cooney who unfortunately lost his battle with cancer um, in the last number of days but we're great, very grateful to him and his family. Um, we also have a new programme running this year as well called Thriving to Survive and that's a programme that we run with uh, patients and their partners if they want to. It's about getting back uh, into living life to the full again after a cancer diagnosis. So it is done three months uh, post treatment and it runs for six weeks. We, survive, uh, we provide a whole host of um, services from complementary therapies to support groups. We have an art group, we have a gym, um, and we don't just look after the person with the cancer diagnosis, we also look after their family members. We also run a programme for children called CLIMB, and that is done again over a six week course and it's done through art and drama, and it takes the fear of uh, cancer away from children. Um, we would have different experts come in to talk. This year we were very lucky to have Professor, Professor Donald Brennan. He came down from Dublin and he talked and educated us on the HPV vaccine. We need funding. We cannot continue to grow the way we're growing without some form of funding from HSE or someone or sponsorship to help us out. We, you know, fundraise, fundraise, fundraise is our motto, but we need help as well. So if anybody out there wants to offer us some help with sponsorship or funding, we'll be only too happy to accept it or discuss it with them. Um, and I'd also like to uh, let people know that we had a researcher, Dr. Frances um, Drummond here, and she did a, a study as to our activities here, the numbers we've come in, we have coming through, what it would actually cost if um, even to the patient if they were to pay because we don't charge for any of our services. So before Christmas we will have that published and we're really looking forward to have all that figure so we can share it with people.